Before we get started, a major spoiler warning for Season 6 of House of Cards. Before the season has even premiered, we are now certain of Kevin Spacey's fate in the Netflix original House of Cards. And when they pay their respects, they'll have to wait in line. Today, Netflix dropped its second teaser for the new season, with Claire standing over Frank's grave, reciting the quote Frank says to his father's grave at the start of season three. They'll have to wait in line. Now, I've been on board with the Claire-based promos and posters to this point. However, this didn't quite sit well with me. Claire saying this quote to Francis holds no weight, as it only meant something between Francis and his father. I don't know if this is meant to be a tongue-in-cheek metaphor for Kevin Spacey's career, which I guess would make more sense, but I can say I'm glad she didn't start urinating on his grave afterwards. My money is on them opening this season with this and then moving on like he never existed, maybe referencing him a few times. I understand this is a very clean way of moving past the drama, however, I can't comprehend why they'd tell us this soon. The only way I can make sense of it is to set the tone for the season early on and have us get used to the idea of a dead Frank before the premiere. I can't say I'm a fan of the execution though, and I don't think I'm the only one. Currently on YouTube, the video has a third more dislikes than likes, which unfortunately is setting the tone for how the final season is more than likely to be received. On Twitter last week, we got a few screenshots showing Robin Wright on set with new additions to the cast, Diane Lane, Greg Kinnear and Cody Fern, including a shot showing Claire with Greg Kinnear with Frank's sentinel ring, probably setting an example for these newfound subordinates. I feel like I'm nitpicking, but some of these screenshots just don't seem like they're from House of Cards. They look so bright and colourful rather than the dull tones the show is recognised for. Maybe they're changing the aesthetic this time around, but let's hope not. I'm really trying to stay positive for this final season, and I still believe the remaining cast are strong enough to pull it off, but I'd be lying if I said my concerns weren't starting to grow after this. But what are your thoughts on the latest promo? I'll be interested to hear what you guys think. But until next time, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all. 